Good evening and thanks for joining us. Three men charged in connection to a deadly shooting outside a Johnstown bar are headed to trial. A judge deciding that after hearing hours worth of arguments today and Maria Miller listened to the whole thing and Maria there was a lot of evidence presented. Yeah, Marty, it was a lengthy hearing, longer than most at this stage. It was just over five hours with at least eight different witnesses called to the stand, including investigators, family members of the victim, and the bar owner himself. Ed Gaywell, the owner of Edder's Den, and his girlfriend both testified that they were in their car in the parking lot when the shooting happened, and they say they watched the entire thing, telling the judge they saw Keith Reed get out of a gold car before another man, alleged to be Joshua Cambrick, came up to that car with a handgun and shot through the window twice before jumping into a black SUV that sped off. Now, police say the man inside that gold car was Tony Phillips. He was shot and killed. Cambrick and Reed, along with Jeremy Woodard, Woodard, are all facing serious charges in connection with Phillips' death. Their defense attorneys told the judge there hasn't been enough evidence presented to identify their clients or to show any of them committed a crime. But prosecutors say surveillance video they have before and after the shooting speaks for itself. The video surveillance is absolutely fantastic for the Commonwealth's case. It shows all three individuals that are charged in this case acting in accordance with one another throughout the entire incident. There's still a lot of evidence that's going to come out, a lot of suppression, a lot of different things that are going to happen. So as of right now, uh, it's getting bound over and it actually might be a good thing. So. Now, to be clear, the video doesn't show the actual shooting itself, but it does show three men who appear to be Cambrick, Reed, and Woodard acting in ways that witnesses testified today. Uh, but that determination, of course, will now be up for a jury to decide. Reporting live, Maria Miller, 6 News.